Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what we are doing for family subjects in our homeschool for next school year, the 2022-2023 school year. Today, specifically, I am going to be sharing what we are going to be using as a family for history and for science. Now, how we do family subjects is exactly pretty much how it sounds, is that as a family, we do all of history and science together with a few exceptions, and I'm gonna share that once I get into the video a little more. What's nice about the subjects of history and science is that they are very spiral in the sense that you come back to those different topics in science or in history um, throughout your years of learning and you just go into more depth. So it makes it very easy to tailor to multiple ages to work together at the same time. Another thing that I like to do for history specifically is I like to go on a four year cycle, meaning you have one year that focuses on ancient history, one year that's medieval, one year that's about exploration to 1850, and then from 1850 on to um, modern day history. So with that said, let's move right into what we are using for history for this upcoming school year. Now I've already shared a sneak peek in a couple of videos. One is a complete flip through and the other is just an unboxing and first thoughts. But we are so excited to be giving BiblioPlan a try this year. Now I've had several of you ask me, why aren't you using my father's world? Well, the reason I love my father's world, I just want to put that disclaimer out there. However, I really, really like the setup of um, BiblioPlan. Also, the other reason is because this particular curriculum is K all the way through 12. You can use this with a kindergartner, although I am not going to be. So my youngest that will be doing this is going to be in second grade. So I will have second through seventh doing the same history. If you had a high schooler, all you would have to do is you use the same family guide for every grade level that you're doing it with. You would just need the textbook specifically for high school level and you can all do history together as a family. So that's why I really wanted to give this curriculum a try. I have been really intrigued by it and I'm really excited to dive into it for next year. If you want to see more of an inside look of this curriculum and all of the components we're going to be using, I will put a link to the video of the flip through down below and the unboxing video if you're interested in that. So I am super excited about this. Like I said, the most important part of this, well, I don't want to say most important part because this is kind of their textbook that you use as a reference guide. But what's cool about BiblioPlan is that if you have the family guide, this is basically your spine. It gives you the layout. Um, it schedules out everything beautifully, very similar to how my father's world schedules things out, if you are familiar with that curriculum. And it's very literature based. It has pages upon pages of literature suggestions, whether it be family read alouds, different age groups, um, companion items. If you guys have been around my channel any, any length of time, you know that we love Story of the World. And Story of the World is still gonna be part of our homeschool next year because it actually gives the reference to specific readings to go along with each week in BiblioPlan. So it'll give you the page numbers and that kind of thing um, depending on what you're learning about. It also does that for Mystery of History. And so that to me is very, very, um, it's a plus for me. Let's just put it that way. It's a plus. So this does include a Bible component. I'm not sure yet if we're going to be following the Bible component in this other than just reading about, um, of course, like the church history that is embedded in this history curriculum because we are doing medieval times. Um, but I will have a separate video coming up 
pretty soon, probably later into the summer, that details what we are doing for Bible next year. So that is what we are doing for history. Now let's move on to science as a family subject. So as far as science goes, we have done several different things over the years. We really loved Master Books, God's Design series, and this year we have been using Apologia's Chemistry and Physics. We have really enjoyed that a lot. We didn't use the student notebooks with it because it was a component of my father's world. It basically told you, you know, to do these certain experiments or to pick some experiments or it had some separate worksheets that went along with it. So we didn't use the notebook component that Apologia offers with their curriculum. However, this upcoming year, we are going to be using Apologia's Earth Science. And I am so excited about this. So these are the student notebooks. These are actually, both of them, yes, are the junior notebooks. So I got the junior notebook for my second grader and my third grader. And then for my fifth grader this year, I got him just the normal notebook for this upcoming school year. And then this, of course, is the textbook. I also got the CD of the audiobook of the textbook. One of the things that I like to do just to make um, science a little more easy to be consistent with fitting in and staying on time with and all that kind of stuff, but also just for good review, is I love having the audiobook version so that I can pop it in in the car for review purposes or if I'm just tired of reading that day, I will pop it in the CD player that we have and the kids will just listen to it, whether they are journaling or whatever. And of course, next year they will be using these and there's coloring pages and things like that they can do as they listen to the lesson or take notes in here. Now, if you're interested in a more inside look to this curriculum, let me know down in the comments. But as you notice, I only mentioned that I am doing this with my second, third, and fifth grader next year. That's because my seventh grader is finally going to be doing a subject on his own that has always been a family subject. If you want to know more about what I am using with him for next year, stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because that video with his curriculum choices will be coming out soon. Now, as far as my kindergartner, she is not going to be included in this either. I have already done her curriculum picks for next year. I will link that video down below and you can see what I'm using with her. Um, um, as well. So this, well, I say family subject, but it's only partial family subject. It's kind of sad to think about um, some of my kids not joining in what's always been a family subject of ours. So that is what we are doing for science next year. I'm super excited. It's going to cover a wide range of topics. So it's going to cover the universe, the different zones of the earth, the spheres of the earth, mapping our world, the geosphere, making and shaping the land. So different things like the, what the soil is made up of, different landforms, things like that. The hydrosphere. So we're going to learn about the different phases of water and oceans, water cycle. We're going to learn about the atmosphere, climate and weather, weather forecasting, cycles of life and the biosphere and different habitats and things like that. So I think next year is going to be a really fun year in science, even though my seventh grader is going to be doing a different science on his own. There are still going to be some times where we are able to intertwine with each other to come together and do some fun things like some animal dissections and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about that. I know some people are a little squeamish about dissections and everything, but I'm not. I'm like all about it. That was like my one of my favorite parts of biology in high school and college was the different dissections. So I am like looking through the catalog of all the things you can order to dissect and I'm like, okay, I want to do this one and this one and this one. <laughs> so I'm going to have to pump the brakes a little bit and just choose maybe a couple for next year for us to dissect. But um, just stay tuned for more on just how our year goes next year. I hope you guys follow along with our homeschooling journey. If you're not subscribed already, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys on future videos. Thanks so much guys and have a blessed day.